Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, Marine Knowledge channel. This is your uh, Sailor Basha. So, if you are watching this video for the first time, please do not forget to subscribe our channel and uh, please click bell icon so that uh, you will be notified with uh, any future videos which will be uploaded in our channel. So, in this video, I would like to show and share some information about uh, generator decap what are all the precautions we need to do what are all the checks we need to do and how we have to do the generator decap in a proper way so everything i would like to share you whichever information i know uh, so please uh, watch the video without uh, fast forwarding or something so that uh, you don't miss any of the important point which I will be conveying during this entire video session. So this uh, generator decab I will be uh, posting in uh, uh, multiple parts. So uh, please watch all the parts completely and uh, I will be always uh, uh, welcoming any of your uh, comments regarding our videos and uh, if any doubts please post it in the comment box I will definitely reply your uh, queries and uh, since we are shooting all these things in engine room there will be some noise disturbance so kindly bear with that okay we will go inside the video Side is completely done. Now uh, we will open uh, the other side exhaust valve side. Uh, now we will open the rocker arm. So for opening the rocker arm, we have to open these three nuts. Injector.
portion we removed then we go for the bottom food So now uh, you can see we had removed one side uh, nut of the bottom foot. So I am removing the other side of the bottom foot. And uh, you can notice one thing. Eh? When I am loosening the nut of the other side, you can see the foot uh, will be coming up. So that is how it comes up. So... coming up so this is how uh, it comes up when we loosen your uh, rock around foot holes you can see you can see the gap Now we will be opening the sensor for your egg. 
ensure you keep some rags inside your uh, cooling water pockets in order to avoid any nuts and bolts falling inside the hole
innards you ensure your threads are clean so i already put uh, wd40 so that uh, the layer is also clean the surface should be absolutely clean of any kind of uh, dirt or something so all four walls are now clear i put wd40 so now i will put the jack okay i believe uh, you must have got some idea about uh, this session so the continuation will be followed in the next part so please watch uh, that part also thanks for watching the videos thank you guys